yesterday you wanted me to write something about how um, our game mechanics was just so hard to understand for new uh, for new gamers. Um, but it's so easy to pick up for non-gamers and it's just been such a cause of frustration for us. Um, yeah, it's just so much heartache and frustration. But on the lighter side of something, I realized the beauty of uh, combining a, uh, a relatable um, theme with a new concept to people is it, treat, it, it helps people rewire their brains and re-understanding um, through a new game mechanic. And I think that's the most interesting platform to actually deliver um, our messages. Uh, for example, with I'm right, you're wrong. Yeah, it's really hard. It's, if there is that, like if the, even the, con the easy concept of, um, of drawing first is so foreign to people. But once you get over the hump, you've rewired your brain, you've learned something. And if we can combine that with relatable themes, that is the perfect platform to, um, to, to, to you know, inspire self-reflection and, um, and education. That's such a good if, point. So that's what makes the fight worth it. That just makes our mission all that more concrete. It's hard, definitely it's hard, but in the end of that's what we're trying to do. I was reading this article about Red Bull and how when they start, it doesn't taste good. Um, it tastes, and instead of adding some flavor like blast berry, you know, energy, they invented a whole entire flavor, an energy drink flavor. That's why when you drink monster drink or porn star energy, it tastes like an energy drink. It tastes like, like you will say it tastes like Red Bull. It will be in relation to Red Bull. They did something rather than cave in and try to create uh, a flavor that is familiar. They tried to re they try they reinvented the whole wheel. Yeah, you know this one is really um, touches. <laughs> It inspires me a lot. It makes me feel good about what we're doing because when, let's say when my mom wanted to use Instagram, but teaching her how to use it, there was a lot of limiting beliefs around how hard it was to learn new technology. And Instagram's pretty easy, but the thing is when you're doing any new, using any new technology and you haven't really learned something in, in a while within that realm, it just seems very overwhelming and you just believe you can't do it. So you can't do it. And I like, I keep looking at our instructions over and over and over again and looking at our website. I'm like, should we add this verbiage in here? And I scroll down. I'm like, the verbiage is already there. Like, I, I don't know how to change the instructions anymore, but I don't, think it's about changing the instructions is what you've said is that people actually have to rewire their brain and learn something new they have to be willing to open the box and say hey it's not just going to be easy like read this one do this one read this one do this one they have to wrap their brain around a brand new concept to different from any other game that they've played and that takes work but the the part that inspires me with that is that that actually helps their brain continue to develop because we stop developing our brain after what the age 25 or 20, something? Well, we peak at 26. Yeah. Um, and that's when we that begin to use our experience are... to fill in the gaps. Right, you said that. And so we've got people who are 30, 40, 50, 60 years old trying to learn this who don't have the context of this, this type of game that if they're willing to learn, this, this is gonna help them um, expand just expand their brain. That's amazing. Yeah, I, yeah, and that's that. It's it's just a it's just such an interesting just interesting way to look at it. Um, I think that's that's what that uh, gives me confidence and drive now more than ever, rather than just fall into despair. I think the I was thinking a lot about yesterday. What makes a good life? And a good life is really being able to turn. Um, those setbacks into memorable, uh, memorable experiences, lessons, and um, opportunities. 
that's really it. Like when I look back at how hard it was to start my agency, I look back at it and say, whoa, what an amazing journey. Our office was, one of our offices, the entrances was in an alley with a junkie, with like, like, like had a cubby. If you Google mapped it, it had a guy with a needle in his leg. I was just like, how did Google allow this? <laughs> But that was our front door. Oh. And I look back at just some of the, the hilarious moments um, we've had in that office because it was a grungy office, but it was huge. We had basketball tournaments and stuff in it. It was, it was, I look back at, at it and miss those, miss those times. And that's a uh, life well lived. Uh, but back, yeah, back to the game. It, abs absolutely, I think that if we can get over that hurdle and help people rewire their brains and, and absorb something new, um, that is when they open their minds to um, connecting this with mental mental health as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. That will. I think that it's it draws true to real life too. And when you talk of like just everyday life and people just don't understand like some of those, uh, those idiosyncrasies about manners and, you know, and just tolerance. And it's simply because it, it couldn't, it's not presented to them in a way that they, they can process that context, right? Yeah. Yeah. And no matter how you break it down too, it's like, I don't get it. This is amazing. I'm so glad that you brought this today because I'll be honest with you, I was feeling a little depressed today because I thought, how, how do we make this a viable business? Not just like a little side project for fun where there's like, you know, a couple bucks coming in a month that did we just do it for fun? Like, how, how can this be my job where I don't have to go get another job instead? And because I had this fear, I started getting into this fear mindset that what if the game stores don't want us? What if we can't move fast enough on social media where there's enough demand at like a big enough pace to be able to scale at the rate we need to? And because I because I thought, well, we can't sell to mainstreamers. They just don't get it. But the fact that like when I was learning Catan the other day, I found myself going through that process of I don't want to learn something new. I wasn't actively thinking I don't want to learn something new, but my mind was like, ugh because you get to that age where you don't really learn new stuff you just go on autopilot yeah and and it felt good learning it at the end and I like that game now and I'm glad that I learned it but there was a little hurdle for me to jump through and and I had to consciously decide okay no I'm gonna pay attention I'm gonna learn this and it's not a hard game Katana is not hard but there are rules you have to learn and in yeah. order, especially in order to get the strategy, just like ours. And now I'm thinking, okay, well, we need a blog post about this. Why am I right wrong about conti like continual adult learning and the benefits of it? Uh, we can collaborate with um, Gary and some, some other doctors about this. And this is something that we can pre-frame in mainstream, mainstream people's minds that we are all about continual learning. Like it's really important to figure something out and get your get your brain working and firing those synapses and, and figure this out. Cause it's all laid out. All the instructions are there, but for them to know in advance that I'm gonna have to learn this, it's not gonna be just easy peasy one, two, three, then they might give it a better chance. Yeah, they'll give it a better chance. And if they don't, they'll give it a second chance. I. I think that we are we are on the right path. We we set up the groundwork for um, for that. Like even that that person said, I don't get it, but I want to give it another chance. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's awesome, and I think we should not shy away from from saying it's like, oh, people don't understand our stuff. It's we should we should lean into it and say that's okay. That's that's the point. Yeah. That's the reason why we did market to gamers. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we marked to non-gamers, even though this is an uphill battle, is because of what we're trying to do, which is help you rewire your brain to, to new concepts. Um, and to add on to your story, 
I felt the same way, but with Monopoly Deal. It's even easier than Catan. It's literally on the box. Fifty Learn in 15 minutes, you know? I mean, play within 15 minutes. But that changed my life once I did. Yeah. Like, what? Then yeah. I was open to uh, exploding kittens, which inherently had a chain effect because that's brought me closer to my family. Before I would never talked to my family, right? And then we started playing games together. Um, so that's a sad reality. Like <laughs> it's like I don't. There's some other um, like hidden, not hidden, but like underlying things here too. So, one, you said, okay, somebody says that they don't understand it let's let's lean into it like that's okay if they don't understand it this is like a degree of empathy there rather than oh yeah. you don't get it? okay we won't focus on you let's focus over here like no we're gonna figure out how you can get it like we understand that this is the human nature of learning things we're not all in high school or elementary school anymore and then the other part is um hang on what was it you said shit i forgot it was important what were you saying? Oh. Well, it's okay. to relate this to back to our co topic yesterday and what you wrote, um, it re really is about uh, belief. You know, the whole point of what we wrote yesterday was it's not, it's, well, you start off by saying is like, well, what keeps us driving is, is um, grit, but I've always said, you know, um, it's it's belief. Passion, passion is overrated. They always say, oh, I'll do your passion, but that changes so fast, right? Just like with you and dancing, you're passionate. I have no doubt you're da passionate about dancing, but all that bullshit uh, put a hatchet to it real fast. Same, I'm, there's no doubt I was uh, passionate about mixology, but all the bullshit really put things in perspective for me. Um, mm -hmm. It's, it's belief that would, that's going to have to drive us forward um, with this and the belief that we're doing something good and that we're not just making a game. If we are just making a game and we're just doing it for fun, um, when it becomes fun, we've got nothing. Uh, when it becomes not fun, because it will, disaster will strike, we've got nothing. But if we have a belief that we are doing, we're, we're building a product that can help rewire people's brains, um, introduce introduce new learning methods and tack on a real a theme, uh, like a real uh, issue that we ourselves believe in. I personally believe a lot in conflict management, seeing how it's, it's been a major driver throughout, throughout my life, whether it's been my office life, my family life, my me and wife life, <laughs> you know, um, not just being able to self-reflect and not get carried away by my ego and temper and insecurities is, uh, is I think it, it definitely will make the world a nicer place. Mm -hmm. um, so as long as we, we see our product as part of the change we want to see in the world, that's what's going to drive us forward and, and, and turn our despair into opportunity. And today's despair is people don't get the game, but it's just like no one understood it's dangerous to to invent a new flavor <laughs> other than to go with a boysenberry crush um <laughs> it's it's what will make a company stick throughout the times um yeah um i think that with that in mind um I think you know there's some things to contemplate of how our, it'll affect our con our content, but I th uh, I think it, people are going to love us for it. People are going to say, oh, "Okay," rather than us just keep telling people how easy it is to play. You can say, "Do you want if it is if it is, it's a strategy game? Yeah, there's there's depth to it. But if you learn it, you're gonna you're gonna maybe you'll see parallels into in in your life. I mean. This was it's not this was inspired to by an argument game down to its very mechanic. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry if you don't realize that if you're arguing with people that you're taking one-on-one -on -one turns at each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but that's how life is. I feel yeah. like this is one of the best um like uncovering conversations we've had about our game. 
like we really understand we even understand not just the i don't mean the game but the market and what we did what we're what we're doing on a whole deeper level we're trying to do yeah yeah i remember what the other thing was um when i said there was two things the other one was we keep saying that it's easy that it takes two minutes to learn that it's so fast to learn it's really easy to pick up and we're really pushing that how quick it is to learn and set up and and i think that is actually shooting ourselves shooting ourselves in the foot because when somebody thinks oh it's so easy to learn and then they pick it up and they don't get it they're like well you suck at explaining it then maybe it's yeah it's easy to learn for somebody that plays yugio yugio that plays magic the gathering that plays pokemon but it's not easy to learn for somebody who's brand new to games or brand new to this type of game, or maybe hasn't learned something new in a while or whatever, whatever the case may be. And so we're actually shutting off their idea that they could even learn it by saying that. Hmm. I in- still want to say it's easy, easy enough to learn. It's it easier is. than Catan. I'm not saying, <laughs> yeah, but those people aren't buying Catan. Yeah, it's true. Is there not? Um, and it, it reminds me of in dance. So um, when we're training students, you can, I, there's three, there's three approach, not approaches, but there's just three things that could happen. Somebody could get ignored and they're just on their own and they're only going to move at a certain pace because it's completely self-learning. Somebody could get reprimanded like, no, you suck. You're not working hard enough. You need to work harder. And one coach might think that that's going to get them to a certain level of like enthusiasm to work more. They might think that it's going to push them to be better. And they're like trying to give that tough love. But what actually works the best with coaching, at least in my experience, these dancers is praise. Like you're doing amazing. You're nine out of 10 times, 90%. You want to give them praise, 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 build them up, build them up, build them up. And then 10% critique and then keep building them up. Those are the ones that become champions. And so now I'm thinking about this with our game. We're like, it's two minutes to learn. It's really easy. You can like, anybody can learn it. It's really quick to play for anybody. And they see it, they don't pick it up. That's almost the same as them being, so to speak, reprimanded in sort of, instead of us being more compassionate towards it, like uh, this, let's say we said, this game is really easy to pick up. If you've played Exploding Kittens, or um, some of these other take that style card games, it's gonna be really quick for you to understand. But if you haven't played those types of games, it might take a little bit longer. So we just want you guys to give it a little patient. Here's some of the benefits of putting in the work to understand the game. And if you don't reach out to us, we're a small company. We're happy to get on a call with you to explain. Yeah, I think that's a, that's interesting. Probably I like what you said, like reach out to us. We're a small company. We're happy to explain it. Um, that's kind of, that's really cool. Um, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And we can take advantage of the how to, we can put something at the top there and maybe we, instead of going straight to the how to video, you and I, we'll do this another day, but we get on a zoom call where it's recording both of our faces like this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just like, Hey, I'm Derek and I'm Daryl. Uh, we're the creators of this game. Um, so here's the thing. And then we basically say what I just said, like, if you, if, if you need help understanding the game, click the link below and book a call with us because it's st- that still reaches to our KPI. Cause the more people who want to get, get on a call with us and understand it, the more they can explain it to other people too. Yeah, I think it's important to to put to explain it and and give the context of why they should learn it. I think that's that's really really smart way to go at it. If we're if we stay in the the mainstream realm. Yeah, like which I'll, I do I'll, want to. I'll gladly spend twenty hours a week explaining the game to anybody who wants to learn, but they need to have exactly. access to that. Yeah, I think that yeah. Before, before I had that realization, I was very tempted. Just like, okay, like everyone else, we're gonna we're gonna go for gamers. But I think that it, it does give us a little bit of conviction to 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 um, stay in the mainstream realm because yeah. of what what this product can do for people. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. they like it when they know it. They, yeah. like, if I was selling like a game about like viticulture or executing um, uh, nobles, I probably wouldn't have the same thought. All right, I'd be like, okay, gamers. But it's because we have such a real theme, a real message, and a real purpose for it that I think it's it's worth fighting through for fight, fighting yeah. for the mainstream. Like, I don't even care if they have a gathering and their four family members are sitting at the table and they're like, I don't understand the game. Let's look at the website. And they go to book it. And it's like, Daryl's available right now. I'll jump on a call with them while they're at their four person dinner party. And like, we could record it, use that for social media content. This is actually a great brand strategy. <laughs> yeah. Social media strategy. So. That's kind of, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, but yeah, that's, that's, that's my conviction, my conviction. I'm with um, you. Yeah. Um, it's, it, if, if we just market to gamers, we've only just got a game. Yeah. 